Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day making some really good trades. And yeah, it looks like Bitcoin's having a really, really nice rally right now. But we definitely want to pay attention because we don't want the price to go. Uh, like we, we definitely want the price to, yeah, sorry, we want the price to break a certain level. And I'll outline the level just here right now. I had it up and then it got deleted for some reason, but we'll redraw it, no problem. Right now we want to break the 0.328 Fibonacci level, which is at $42,661. And we want to close above. And you can see right here, we are very close, very, very close. So I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if we close above and then have a pump all the way to the 200 day moving average, which is actually at uh, 44,814. And a close above that would be even more bullish. So very, very good news on like on the, you know, everyone that's in longs right now. Congratulations. You deserve those gains. Uh, right now we want to break this trend line right there that I've drawn. I'm going to break this level. Sorry. It keeps getting deleted every time I post it, but no problem. There we go. So we broke this trend line right now and we want a daily close above it. And the daily candle is about to close in about two hours. So. No, not to worry. Two or one hour, I'm not sure. It depends on which time zone you are. But yeah, the daily candles are going to close soon. And honestly, it looks really, really good. But we can't, uh, sorry, we can't forget about the 200 day and the 50 day moving average that have crossed here, which is considered the death cross for Bitcoin. And we could actually go look at the previous bull runs. We go on the logarithmic time scale. And we're just going to reset the chart and we can get a better look at it. And we could see that back in 2017, if the chart is going to load, it's not loading. Perfect. Okay. Well, back in 2017, we had, I'll just tell you guys what happened. We had a similar cross, right? We had a death cross and the price went down from there. And after that, we had a bounce all the way back up to the 200 day moving average, right? And then once we touched the 200 day moving average, we proceeded to fall another 50% back down. 50 or 60 percent so we retraced all the way back down to like five thousand three thousand dollars for bitcoin when back in 2017 when we had that big bull run and we hit the 200 day moving average and we retrace i'm not saying this is going to happen i'm just saying that we need to be careful and we need to take some profits while we're still ahead and you know be careful and exercise good risk management so just keep that in mind guys i'm not saying this is the end not at all. That's not at all what I'm saying. And for the, Fib for the Fibonacci level, why does it keep getting deleted? Fibonacci level, we want the price. You know what? I think we'll just lock it so it doesn't get deleted. There we go. There we go. It shouldn't go away now. So the Fib level, we definitely want to break that 200 day. But once we break it, if we get, we can get to the 0.5 and break that, I would be very, very bullish. I would actually add to my long positions from there. Or even before that, if we can break the 200 day, I might add to my long position. And on the challenge account, especially not on my personal account, personal accounts looking very good. Uh, but we want the point if we can break all these levels and the, you know, the point 1.618, sorry, Fibonacci retracement level would be the next target for the new all time high. And that would be at $87,000, 87,100, 87,100. So that would make me very, very bullish from there. You know, it's looking very good, especially on Market Cipher. Market Cipher is looking very, very, very bullish as well. So just keep that in mind, guys. I'm very, I'm expecting, I'm expecting uh, over triple, tri uh, sorry, six digit Bitcoin price by the end of the year. And, but the way we're going to get there is through proper risk management. I could see everyone in the chat, you know, posting massive gains with 125 leverage. You're taking a massive amount of risk when you do that, when especially when you follow my trades, because I, I usually put a wide, wide stop loss, you know, so I have some wiggle room in my trades. So I, you know, I, I, I would not use 125, but, you know, you can make your own decision, do your own type of risk management. If it works out for you, then fantastic. And you're making 600% every day, right? But if it doesn't, you're taking, you know, you, you have a very large chance that you could lose a lot of money. And now I just want to go quickly to the robo trading because it looks like we're actually uh, 
uh, mining a lot of uh, DITO tokens right now. If this will load, my internet's pretty bad today. And yeah, so our robust strategies are looking pretty good. Um, a significant amount of people are are increasing their subscriptions to uh, Delta Exchange. And it looks like they just revamped their website too. So now they got yield strategies, robust strategies, and my portfolio is my portfolio right now on the channel. Like this is just a small amount that I added and tested out. Looks like we've mined a significant amount of tokens. It doesn't show anymore. And let's just take, click click on it, take a look how many we've mined. And is it going to show? It's not going to show here, but we can go on the wallet quickly. It shows that I have 16.38 tokens that have been mined. So that's basically, it goes right into your wallet once you mine them. And then you can sell them on the open market if you want. Right now, they're not worth much. We can take a quick look at the DITO tokens that are on the Delta Exchange. You know, I've, I was doing some quick TA yesterday. And we could see that <laughs> the price is technically as a bullish divergence on the daily time frame as the price is making lower lows but the RSI is making higher highs so technically it's due for a, a, a sharp rise isn't it right that's the, yes, your basic TA right there but obviously there's a lot of other factors to take into consideration there's not a lot of volume on these tokens so definitely take uh, do your own research before and this is just a utility token for me as you as you know you, if you keep 2500 DITO tokens you can get free withdrawals and for Bitcoin and any ERC20 token. Anyways, this was your quick your quick update. I gotta go eat dinner now. You guys have a wonderful day. We made some really good gains today and join the Discord if you haven't already. It's free and you can join Delta Exchange to get a $2,500 bonus. You, I love you guys. Peace.